Cue the flame. Cue the flame. Why isn't it working? Hey you guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Julia. Welcome. Today I woke up and I had some motivation to film. I already filmed one video, which that was me getting ready for my photo shoot today. At home, we are in quarantine. Isolation. Why not get creative and do something fun? That's what I'm thinking here. So today I wrote a bunch of ideas for like photo for photos so we can take them. Fingers crossed. Give me a like down below for some confidence that they will turn out good. Decent at least. Uh, as we take them, I'm going to actually pop them up on the screen so you can see the photo that was taken and I'm gonna edit it also. I have uh, Lightroom and Photoshop that I will be using. Don't really know how to work Photoshop. Maybe Chima will help me in that area. But um, yeah, we're just gonna have fun with it. I have a few props laid out so I will go and show you what those are. But if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Um, I would really appreciate that. Um, my analytics say that 80% of people that watch my videos aren't subscribed. And I'm just like, oh. they ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not. Why aren't you committing? Do you have commitment issues? I hope this video will change your mind and you will subscribe, okay? So anyways, without further ado, let's go check out all the props that I have and then we're gonna get into it and I'm super excited, so. Yeah. So these are some of the props that I have. Mason jar, hopefully it will kind of give like a cool little illusion through the lens. Um, I have a strainer. I have a white sheet, you'll see that after. And then I have the laces, which should be fun. And then we have more stuff, but I don't have it here yet. We might be taking photos using this camera, and I also have a Nikon as well. So I think what we're gonna try and do is take most of the photos inside. Yeah, I do have some lighting. I have a box light. I have two box lights, actually. They're not the best lights, but we're gonna just make do. I have some other stuff, so just stay tuned, and I hope you like the video. So, I'm using this white sheer curtain for the first one. I'm going to kind of just like wrap it around me like so. And then he's gonna get on this side and take the picture of me through this. The next thing that we're gonna do is something that I have seen like on TikTok and Liza Koshi just did it with Will Smith. But we have a bunch of shoelaces. Hopefully this one will work. I'm gonna tie one end to my finger and Chima needs to tie the other end to his finger. So it'll give like this cool illusion, like a tunnel, like illusion effect if we get it right. Okay, so we have all the shoestrings stuck to each other's fingers, and yeah, wish us luck. Okay, so now we are incorporating a blue light. If you don't have a blue light like that at home, um, you can actually take saran wrap or a Ziploc bag and use a colored marker, blue or red, and then put it over the lens so it kind of gives, gives that effect. Okay, cool. We're gonna go for it now. Okay, so I put my hair up because I just don't like my hair right now. Um, we also started to use a CD to give it kind of like 
a cool effect. So it's really tricky because you have to get the CD in a right placement for it to get that kind of like reflection. So you just have to play around with it. Um, there's two things that you can get out of this, either like a reflection, like I was showing you, or usually what I was kind of hoping for was that rainbow like prism effect, but we didn't really get that. Okay, next one up, you need two things, a strainer and a source of light. What we're gonna do is hold this up and put the straightener, straightener, the strainer in front so it kind of gives like a cool, holy texture. Hopefully you guys can see that I can. Um, yeah. I'm gonna put the strainer in front of me so the camera is, the camera lens is right here. Shutter. Next photo hack, we have a glass, pretty dirty. Um, it's from a picture frame, so you just take it out and then I'm gonna like splash water all over it. Oh, it's kind of cool. <gasps> I'm gonna splash water on it and then it's gonna kind of like, I'm gonna go through it like that and then it Hopefully will look cool. I don't know. Next, we are getting a lovely mason jar. Have no idea what to do with it yet, but we're just gonna try and incorporate it somehow. Great, great. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> okay, we're just like grabbing random stuff now. So we had this. We're just gonna try and use this, like, I'm behind a fence. So, yeah. Somebody save me! Okay, for the last one, I have this green screen fabric. And we have a green screen. Welcome to Ellen's Burning Questions. I'm excited to see how that comes out because have you worked with green screens in Photoshop yet? Okay, well, we're gonna have fun with that, I guess. Anyways, I'm gonna close out today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching today. If you haven't already, subscribe down below. Like this video if you liked it and comment your favorite picture if you had one. Um, have you tried these yourself at home? Let me know. Um, I understand not everybody has like lighting at home or stuff like this, but we honestly had a really fun time just choosing random items around the house to try and make something out of it. So 
If you can, just whip out your iPhone or if you have a camera, whip out your camera, take photos, have fun with it, get creative and if you guys try this at home and take photos, post it on Instagram and tag me at Julia underscore win. I would love to see the things that you guys created. On that note, I'm out. Welcome to Julia's Burning Questions, where we will answer the juicy questions for you. Cue the flame. Cue the flame. Why isn't it working? All right, bye.